food. It should look like that, kind of. I don't do one on the other side. I'll just do the slot about nine feet and cut and I'll try to match the other one with this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exact. Just close enough. This is for our switch that we're putting on the inside. And I'll put this back in the box because we will definitely be using it still. Now we plug this in. This is the heat gun. And grab one end of each wire. Cool. So this will be the start of one. I go right here. Enough for you to work with. That was a lot. I went less than that. No, right about. Cool. Perfect. All right, so I found some masking tape. It'll work. Uh, so what we're going to do is do a little bit at a time. We already got the thick wires through. I'm going to separate the small wires from them. You can't see it, but I'm just organizing the wires for my brain. What's this red wire for? One sec, I might have to get, I might have to extend these too. This is this one. Ignition. I'll figure it out after I do this loom. Whatever. Because it won't be super long. Cool. 
these I'll drop in. Hopefully this tape is strong enough to even hold a damn wire. Cool. Get the wire loom. So that went through. Those are through. Cool. 
Alright, now that I got it on, I'm leaving these two, because I think they're going a different place. This one doesn't fit in there, but the, these are going all the same place. So I put them in the loom. Not a lot, but you'll see why I'm not doing all of it first. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to heat gun this. And you can always take them out of the loom. You just can't save the loom, if that makes sense. Looking pretty cool. So this is on. Now I'm gonna mock up where everything's gonna go. So I have it mocked up right now. I made a little hole from the inside so I know where it is. And I'm just gonna drill right there. I have the whole the thing poking out. This is the computer. I'm gonna mount it right here. You might be asking why right here. Because we plan on putting a turbo in eventually. And we're gonna have the headers run through. It's, it's gonna be a bit. But yeah, the turbo's gonna sit right here. So I have to run it underneath where the turbo's gonna be. That's why I got the heat shrink stuff. But the hole is, I don't know if you can see where that light is coming in behind there, but it's back there and I'm about to drill into here. Take it off anyways. Next time the car is running it. Ooh, that could have been bad. Next time the car is running it, we'll be with the new holes. So, uh, took this thing off. So I have a little bit more room. Me? Yeah. Like the toy, the Tundra ones? No, the suspension stuff yet? Hasn't even came. Oh, you're gonna do it over here, huh? Yeah, I'll let you know. It's probably gonna be like a month or two. Oh, okay. They take a bit to put together. Cool. And that's where 
Search that. So what you've missed, basically, I've been routing, looking at the chart, figuring out where all the wires are supposed to go. Don't mind the mess in here, just dropping some stuff off. So I found the ground and the wires I need to connect to. Uh, this is all a mess. Keep this tied down next to me. So basically, ow, that's the ground I'm gonna use. And these are the wires. Oh, if you can see, this is the power wire to the fan. I'm gonna be tapping into this, or I can just unplug it right here. But yeah, I am sure because it leads straight up to the back of the fan. So this is the ground for it. I'm just gonna add my ground on top of this one. And then I'll add my power to this. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. My battery's almost out. But, oh, battery's almost out. So once the battery runs out, I'm just gonna head home.